Have an enemy helicopter drop a squad of paratroopers on the player's position when he enters an area. We're going to build us a little mission and we're going to start off with the player who is going to be blue for. We're going to go to F2 groups and then down to NATO, then to infantry, and we're going to place down a recon patrol. I'm going to place them right about here, make them face this direction. All right, so that sets up our player. Let's go to the 2D map. And we're going to go to this location. We're going to go to F1, then props. Then we're going to go down to signs and then to helipads. And then we're going to choose a helipad square. We're going to place that right there in the middle. And then we're going to go to O4. We're going to go to CSAT. Then down to helicopters. And then down to where it says PO-30 Orca unarmed. I'm going to choose that. We're going to place down an orca, make him face this direction, and then we're going to edit the orca and give him a variable name of orca1. Then in the orca's INIT box, we're going to put the following code. Orca1 space disable AI in capital letters space quote move end quote and then semicolon. All right, so that sets up our helicopter for the moment. Hit OK. Next, we're going to go to F2 groups and we're going to choose CSAT and then go down to infantry and we're going to choose a recon team. We're going to place the team right about here and we're going to make them face this direction and move them a little bit closer. And we're going to just move its members within the group range and that's all we need to, need to do now just a tip you can't just use any size squad because if you're using an orca as you could see if you look inside the orca can only carry eight passengers so our recon team has six members to it it will work so just something to keep in mind next we're going to edit this team and what you're going to do is you're going to click on the icon above the team leader here and you're going to edit that and that's going to edit the, the group name so at the top it should say edit composition six objects so in the variable name box you're going to give it a name of G1 and that's all you have to do just hit OK and that sets up the enemy squad that's going to be paratropped next what we're going to do is we're going to click on the orca and we're going to go to the map and we're going to give the orca some waypoints. Make sure the orca is highlighted as you see here and then you're going to hold down left shift and right click outside of the area that we're in. Now before we give it more waypoints we're going to edit this first waypoint and we're going to set the behavior to careless. Just hit OK and that's all we have to do for that particular waypoint for behaviors. I'm going to click on that waypoint again you could see it highlighted here and we're going to zoom out and we're going to give him some waypoints to follow. So we're going to give him this one and this one and then his waypoint here will be about right in the center of this military base and then we're going to run him past that and he's going to come down here go back here and then to here and then we're going to have him his last waypoint is going to be back where this helipad is and we're going to edit this waypoint and you're going to scroll all the way to the top and you're going to choose land and just hit OK. Next we're going to go to where the player is and we're going to go to here and we're going to set up this little base we're going to go to triggers we're going to place two triggers place a trigger with a hundred meter size we're going to place that right in the center and then we're going to edit the trigger we're going to make it a rectangle and this trigger is specifically for blue four so we're going to go to activation and we're going to choose blue four and then activation type is going to be present now we have to add a code and this code we're going to put in the on activation box so here is the code orca1 space enable 
AI, capital AI, AI is capitalized, space, quote, move, end quote, semicolon. Then you're going to hit space, and then we're going to put a hint. Hint, space, quote, enemy helicopter is inbound, exclamation point, end quote, and then semicolon. So that's the code that we have set, and let's just hit OK. That sets up that trigger. Now let's go to the 2D map, and we're going to resize this trigger. And a good way to do that is to use the area widget. So we're going to set this up so that it encompasses this base. And that's it for that trigger. Next, we're going to place another trigger. We're going to choose a trigger, same size, same thing. And we're going to place it in the center. And we're going to edit the trigger. We're going to leave it as an eclipse. But this one is going to be for OP4. For this one, the activation is going to be OP4 present. Now we have to add a code. So let's go to the condition box and we're going to put in a small code here. Orca one space in space this list. And this list is one word and that's it. Next we go to the on activation box and we're going to type in another code. We're going to put null space equals space left square bracket orca one comma left circular bracket units space g1 right curvy bracket and then right square bracket again space spawn space r y d in capital letters underscore and then pair a drop and then semicolon that's all we have to do for that now let's resize this trigger so that it's really big. And that's going to be something like this. All right, so this trigger is going to encompass this entire area. I just want to make sure it's big enough so that uh, the helicopter flies through it. That sets up our triggers. Next, we're going to save our mission. We're going to go to the Save tab at the top left. And we're going to put this on Malden. And we're going to name this Helicopter underscore Paradrop. All right, now that we have our mission saved, what we need to do now is I'm going to share a script with you that enables the helicopter to drop paratroopers. All right, so let's go to the scenario tab at the top left and then down to where it says open scenario folder. All right, today I'm going to share a script with you guys and I have it in another mission. I'm going to share these two script files with you and I'm going to zip these up in a zip file and link them for download in the description of the video. Once you get them, put them in your mission folder just like I have here. Now starting off with this script here, this script, all this does, this line of code, all this does is it initializes the other script once you're in game. So if you already have an init.sqf, then just take that code and put it into your init.sqf and it'll initialize this, this script to function. Let's go over the RYD pair drop script. Now what this script does is it enables a helicopter to drop a specific squad and it doesn't have to be the Orca helicopter. It could be any helicopter and it can be any infantry squad, but basically enables the squad to be ejected and pair drop out of the helicopter. So let's go over this script real quick. So this is the RYD pair drop script. This was written by Rydegear. And let's go to this first line. What you're going to do is, like I did previously with the helicopter, I gave the helicopter a name of Orca 1. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the name of the helicopter, whatever it is, right here and right here. This right here is just a description of what this is. So basically Orca 1 is the name of the helicopter. That's all that that's all that does. It's just a description. Next is the units. So we named the group G1. So like I have here, it's a description. This is what this is. G1 is the name of the group of the units to be pair dropped. So whatever your group name is, just put that right there. And 
that's basically it. All right, let's do a quick review of the mission. Let's go to the 2D map and then we're going to go to the helicopter. With this helicopter, when the mission starts, basically the helicopter named Orca 1, his movement is going to be disabled. Now when the player enters the trigger, or a blue four, which is this one, he enters, basically enters the base, enters, enters this area, it's going to enable the Orca to move. So the Orca is going to end up taking off and following its waypoints. And then once it gets to this waypoint and goes through the trigger for OP4, then this basically checks to see if Orca 1, which is our helicopter, is in the list. And then it's going to activate the pair drop script from here. So Orca 1 plus the units that are be to be pair dropped and then spawn our YD pair drop. Basically, he's going to fly through, curve around, and then land here, and that's it. And then you're going to have a squad that's going to pair drop onto the base. All right, so let's check it out. All right, enemy helicopter is inbound. So we're going to get into here. And I'm not sure exactly where these guys are going to be dropped, you know, within this area. But I'm going to tell these guys to chill on wedge, wedge. I'll see where this guy's at. Let's go to spectator real quick and see where our helicopter is at. There he is. I have another video here called pair troops hunting and basically it uses another pair drop script that works with another script called hern hunter ai script and this video i show you it's it's a real easy setup and basically you could do the same thing that we just did and use this hunter ai script so this, this video will show you how to use an, an alternative version. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I will link that script in the description of the video.